Mike's whistle. Rex and Bert are two of the very small engines on the island of Sodor that work on the miniature railway near Arlesborough. And then there's Mike, the red engine. He can be rather grumpy at times, and he doesn't much like pulling passengers either. <laughs> One morning, Thomas was laughing as he arrived at Arlesborough West to collect ballast stone for his branch line. Oh, what's so funny? It's Doc! Have you heard his whistle this morning? His driver boiled an egg on it and some of the egg got stuck. But don't laugh. <coughs> oh. <coughs> Was that really you, Doc? I never knew you could boil an egg on a steam whistle. Neither did I. And I don't recommend it. All right, all right. Don't go on about it, Duck. <laughs> Duck shouldn't make such horrible sounds. It's shocking. <laughs> I'm going to whistle like that to everyone today. <gasps> if engines can't whistle properly, they shouldn't try. Then why do you? <laughs> I was talking about Duck. Unlike him, I have an excellent whistle. <laughs> if I had a whistle like yours, Mike... Yes? I'd lose it. What? <laughs> whistles are very important, Rex. Engines without whistles aren't proper engines at all. Mike's steam pressure went so high that his safety valve blew up. Oh! Oh! Dear, is Mike overheating again? Mr. Fergus Duncan is known as the small controller because he's in charge of the miniature railway. But he's not actually small. In fact, he's rather tall. I shall have to put you on lighter duties. I suggest you take the passenger train today. No, sir. Uh, please, sir. I'll be fine. <laughs> you know I prefer hauling goods to passengers. Sorry, Mike, but I can't have you blowing off steam like this. Bert shall take the goods train today, and you shall take passengers, once your safety valve is back in order. Oh. <laughs> Mike was still in a bad mood as he went to collect the passengers. Oh, it's oh, sweet. Oh, it's so lovely. What a cute little steamer. Yeah. Blah, blah, blah. Lovely day. What a cute little steam engine. Isn't he sweet? Behave yourself, Mike. <laughs> <laughs> Silly Rex and Bert making fun of my whistle. They're jealous. They're jealous. I'll show them. I'll show them. There are places along the line where boards are put up to let the engines know that they have to whistle. But Mike was blowing his whistle at everything. When they reached the end of the line, Mike's driver checked him over. I just can't seem to work out what's wrong with you today. There's nothing wrong with me. I'm fine. Just don't go thinking about cooking an egg on my whistle. <laughs> I won't. But as they were travelling back along the line, Mike's driver heard a funny noise. What's that? What's what? That funny sound. Don't you start. No. Listen. Something is rattling on your boiler. Never mind that. You can tighten up whatever it is when we get back. 
But then there was trouble. Get out of my way! Patience, Mike. The cow will move on in time. Oh, that cow is always wandering onto the tracks, and she only makes me cross. Shoo, shoo, shoo! Go on! Right, this is the last straw. Get out of my way, you silly animal! Mike got so cross and he whistled so hard that his whistle cap flew right off like a rocket. <laughs> so that's what was loose. Oh, oh! Oh. Mike's driver and his guard searched the field trying to find the whistle cap, but there was no sign of it. The passengers were getting impatient. Hurry uh, up! Really? Uh, this is Could you go a little like faster, please? What are you looking for? Going to be late and miss my connection. What's so important about a whistle anyway? Oh. I have to whistle at certain places along the line to let others know I'm coming. That's orders. Haven't you found my whistle yet? Oh, this won't do at all. We could be here until tomorrow morning. We'll have to whistle for you. Good idea. I can whistle. <gasps> So Mike continued along the line, and every time he came to a place where he was supposed to whistle, his driver and guard and the passengers all whistled for him. They made more noise than he ever did, but Mike felt foolish and improper without a whistle. Mike was running rather late when he got back to Arlesborough, and Duck had to wait for him. Traffic jam, was it, Mike? No. There was a cow on the line. And a problem with my whistle. Well, I know what that's like. At least my driver finally cleaned mine out! <laughs> What's up with Mike? Oh, take no notice of him, Thomas. He's an improper engine. Improper? What do you mean? He's got no whistle. <laughs> it's shocking. We don't approve of engines without whistles, do we, Mike? Oh, oh. did someone boil an egg on it? No, he got cross with the cow. <laughs> That's right. And all he had to do was say, <laughs> or maybe go. <laughs> Poor Mike wished he didn't get cross so easily. If he hadn't been so hot headed, he might never have lost his whistle in the first place. Oh, give it a rest, won't you? <laughs> Oh, I don't know. <laughs> it might be.